Okay, good day. So today I'm going to show to you on how to record um, your presentation using uh, my uh, sorry using Cisco Webex. Um, this is is used mainly for um, the uh, asynchronous uh, teaching and learning process. Uh, if your schools or your center uh, allow it to do so, so you can use it for the asyn asynchronous uh, teaching uh, method. So first, uh, you need. Uh, I, I'll be using um, e-learning po uh, portal uh, provided by Moodle and also uh, Office 365. Uh, sorry, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint uh, Office 365 uh, latest versions. Um, so first, you need to log into your e-learning uh, platform. When you you already log in, so you can see this interface. So I will go to my uh, GMT. So you need to turn editing on first if you don't um, ha hasn't doing that uh, first. So you go to the respective week that you like to uh, to, to 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 add in your uh, recording. So for me, I will go to week X, and you can see my previous uh, videos on how to set up your learning space here using Microsoft uh, Cisco WebEx. So you just click my lecture space there. And then you can uh, you can see there's a few uh, uh, tabs up here. For example, uh, in in the you can choose virtual meetings, and then under virtual meetings here you can see there's an upcoming meetings. If you set one, there will be an upcoming meeting here, or if the meeting has already been passed, yes, we, there will be past meetings here, and this is the recording. So what you have to do is you just click recordings here. So you can see that I've already made some recording, but we today we're going to do a new recording. So, uh, sorry, previously, uh, how to make a new recording? You first, you need to click on the recording library here. So you can see there's a uh, in this interface, and then next you can cr uh, click create new recording. So uh, here's some uh, the steps that uh, Cisco WebEx had shown to you. Number one, you can uh, as soon as we start the uh, um, meeting, the meeting has started. We we, we, can, uh, we click the record meeting button, and after the meeting has end, uh, you just uh, end the meeting. And a few minutes later, you can see the meeting listed in your recording li library. But the most important thing to remember is recording should be in the cloud space, not uh, in the, your PC or desktop. So because if you put it your recording in your PC or desktop, the in the the, the you need to re-upload it again, so it will be a tedious job to do that. But the easiest way is to just uh, record meeting and also uh, in clouds, and just j you can just share the link with your student or your participant. So, but after uh, you had create uh, click create new recording, you understood everything that uh, it has said. You can just click OK. So we prompt to your uh, meeting rooms, your personal meeting rooms. You can just bear with me for your free wise. So you can see this is a, a meeting room, my personal room. So I just minimize the uh, uh, the browser at the back there. So you can maximize it so okay as usual uh, because you wanted to, to do recording so you need to unmute and if you um, uh, if you uh, uh, you prefer to you prefer to um, show your video so you can start your video but for me I will leave that off and you can just start meeting right away so as uh, uh, usual, uh, you'll be prompt to this uh, interface. So you can see here is the, the the button that control the mic. This is the video or your webcam. This is what if you wanted to share content, and this is for the recording. 
so I'm going uh, I'm just going to hit the record button there so remember when you hit record here you did under this uh, small windows or uh, small uh, windows here you can see there's a record in clouds if you click the downward drop down menu here you can see there's also record on my computer but for me I will suggest you to record it in cloud because sometimes when you the video has not uh, if you record it on your computer um, when the video hasn't finished processing it will be uh, corrupted so you can't use the video at all so I'm prefer for you to share uh, to just record it in clouds and just hit the record button and yeah the recording is started so we just close this one and sh start share content so for me I wanted to share the Microsoft PowerPoint so we just share this one so you can see up here you can see there is already the uh, tools of uh, recording on the for the um, for the Webex Cisco Webex so just leave it there and continue your presentation as usual so you guys just gonna hit this uh, slideshow and you can see there's a few button here so I'm just going to hit a laser pointer for easy access so I'll begin my uh, lecture today with uh, regarding banana tree so this is a banana tree if you can see this uh, from a fields of banana tree banana tree has broad leaves so there's a few leaves here you can see the leaves is a bit broader and usually you can find banana tree in a tropical country and in Malaysia there's a lot of functions of banana leaves you can wrap nasi lemak using a banana leaves so here is a very one delicious nasi lemak you can see some eggs anchovies cucumber some chicken and also peanuts fried peanuts and with a fragrant rice and a sambal on the top so this is our nasi lemak wrapped in a banana leaves look like and apart from that you can also uh, write banana uh, banana uh, fruits you can eat, fry it or you can eat it on your its own so it tastes very nice sweets there's a lot of sugar and by that thank you hope to see you again goodbye okay next I'm going to click stop sharing and you'll be prompt back to this uh, interface and what you have to do is you click back record again and just click stop so you just read it a few do you want to stop recording if you stop recording we start a later stage and maybe create a separate files and let me just stop recording so that I'm finished with my recording so after this you can just end your meeting and we will go to the um, Webex so here here is the Cisco Webex uh, web page. You, you need to log in with your personal ID and also password. And then what you have to do is you go to the recordings. So in recordings, you will see uh, here is my recording. It's currently it's generating. So because you need times to process the uh, to process the video. So that's why I'm preferring to. Uh, save it in the cloud because you need to uh, the Webex uh, apps needs or software or website need to um, generate the recording first so it needs to convert uh, a few things so that it become a video a nice video recording so if you record it on your PC the problem is you have uh, you need to wait a few while before closing your turn off your PC or laptop uh, for example if you have uh, trouble uh, power trouble power problems at your area where the power and electricity being cut off 
then uh, the, the the video won't be finished uh, generating and you will lost the the recording so for me i prefer to save it in cloud so it will be generating so i will be i'll pause i will pause my uh, uh, presentation for a few while until it's finished generating and i will share you later on how to upload or share the links of your videos to the e-learning platform okay now you can see that the recording is already uh, finished so you can see this the top one is the latest recording this uh, has the duration of the recording the size and so the format so at this point you has you have uh, a few options so either you want to download you want it to share uh, to any platform so if you share you will be, uh, the participant or the, your students will be given a URL so for them to click on and uh, go to your presentation but if there is no uh, if you would like to download your presentation you can do it so and uh, you can uh, upload it again to your YouTube channels or Facebook or Instagram or anything uh, any platform that you like because it is in, in mp4 format but for me I will just uh, so to uh, I will just keep uh, share the links but to prevent the students so for you who are who are thinking or concerning about the the, the copyright issue because some some of you like to uh, register for copyright for your presentation then you can prevent uh, students from downloads at least by using from this uh, official Webex uh, platform so what you have to do is at the end here you can see there's a three dots a circle with three dots inside it uh, when you hover on it on top of it you you will be prompt as uh, a few options either edits or deletes so you're going to choose edit you will be prompt into this type of uh, uh, windows so you can rename your presentation so for me I will just name it as a banana tree uh, the same as uh, my presentation so you can next for the security you need you can uh, prevent downloading uh, for your video so this one is uh, what is important and the next thing is if you wanted to make it more secure you can put password protections so but for me I'm really uh, without pass password protection but uh, also just preventing the down from downloading so if you the panel display option you can you can click other display for example if you have transcript check q and a session during the presentation polling or participant can also uh, put it there but for me i'll just leave it all tick as it if it, it is and then save your editing so you can see the name is a little change to banana tree and for the security here you can see there's no long as yeah, so a user or viewer cannot download this uh, recording so what you're going to do next is to share your presentation so uh, for me i would like to share it uh, using url so you can see uh, this is if you if you like to email your presentation to someone else you can email it or for me i just because i wanted to embed or share it in the e-learning platform so i just copy the link here so you can see under this window share recording window at the public link um, space you can see you can you need to click here first anyone with the link can view this with this recording and then what you have to do is just copy the url uh, available at the public link here so you just click copy url or you can just do classically you can select all and copy it uh, do not save it you just click cancel so currently the link is already on your clipboards so what you have to do you need to go back to your e-learning space uh, so for me i go back to week x uh, where is it? okay here so this week x so what i'm going to do is add an activity or resource so what you have to do now is to click resource tab here and you need you can share your url here the the links of the webex recording here you just click url here and you just name your presentation 
okay and then you need to paste in your URL here so bear in mind sometimes because you're copying from the Cisco Rex there we it will be included also with the title of your video uh, of your recording so you need to delete this one first or not the 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 system the the e-learning platform will recognize this as a url so you need to delete the uh, title and just start with uh, https so other things uh, i should I, I'm, I'm recommending you that to leave everything as is because uh, as the, as the time goes and you are getting familiarized and you can tweak all the appearance and uh, other things in this uh, settings so next what you have to do is to just save and return to the course all right so when you return to the course you can see there's uh, already uh, a, a tab for your recording here banana tree so what you have to do is just click it to see it so if student click it they need to log into Cisco Webex and after that you can they, they can uh, view your video so you can see on top here uh, because we are the one who are editing it so we can edit the, the name of the uh, title here but student they are only able to share it, the video with among among their friends or uh, uh, clicks uh, otherwise they won't have uh, they, they, they can't download it so if you have leave the download option there there will be a download icon up here so just um, adjacent to these two icons so student can just click, click play and they will uh, see the presentation uh, from the beginning of the recording so you can click here and I will just go fast forward to the presentation session, uh, part Okay, this I'm talking. All right. So you can see that uh, during presentation, I changed to laser pointer. So it's uh, the microsoft has already been turned into a laser pointer. So you can use it to show uh, details or things that you wanted to show on the uh, on the screen. So this is how it will look like. So my suggestion, if you have a uh, uh, we can uh, spend some money to buy a, a cheap uh, video editing software or sometimes you just uh, uh, a free one will also do you can trim your video and uh, upload it nicely but for me uh, if you uh, how to say if you uh, uh, to, to cut budget you can just uh, share your links as if so I'm just and going to end my lecture there, just to show you the, uh, the 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 results of your uh, recording using a Cisco Webex. So uh, this is will cut a, a lot of time instead of you uh, downloading your presentation and re-uploading to YouTube and re-share your links to e-learning platform. So it will be a very tedious job so instead of doing that we can just share straight away your uh, recording from the Cisco Webex uh, clouds uh, and by that uh, I think I will end my presentation uh, today so hope um, it will help you in your uh, works and hope to see you again goodbye